Well, my friends, that's the G Gable GRM EM7 12 volt DC motorized antenna lift. The motorized unit is small enough to fit behind a shrub or a flower pot. And then we have this extended control cable that we're going to want to weatherproof outside to keep it protected from the water. And the other end comes into the shack. And this end plugs into this PCB with a switch and an LED indicator that tells us whether our antenna is raised or lowered. And then a power pole connector will need to be added to plug this into the same power we use for our ham radio gear. Throughout my career, I've traveled in Asia where I've seen densely populated regions with building heights and ceiling heights, garage door heights, which are rather low. And these units are placed on top of commercial vehicles so that their antennas can be raised or lowered as they go in and out of warehouses and such. And of course, you know what? I could put this on top of my 2016 Nissan Frontier, but I have a better idea. How do we utilize this in the homeowners association with antennas of similar size and shape that this was designed for to become stealth in the HOA? I've attached the antenna lift to this heavy piece of slate. It's nice outside today, so we're going to go to the local park for the demonstration. I'm using this mount with the adjustable jaw, which will easily clamp on top of this post because it's simple. And then we have a 3 8 by 24. So this setup will handle all of our 3 8 by 24 antennas, the three that I want to demonstrate for you. If your HOA circumstances are so extreme that it requires you to get this creative, be sure to stick around to the end and I'll give you my opinion on this. We're going to start off by testing and demonstrating the G Gable 7350T. Most of you watching the channel know how this operates. This coil will slide and then lock in place with this polymer nut so you can get resonant on a band. And then you can operate 20 meters, 40 meters. When you wanna to go to a different band, you have to come back outside. You have to unlock that nut. You have to adjust and tune, lock it again, and you can go to another band. So when you set it up on here, you are resonant basically in one band. If you're wondering what to do about ground radials, many of you are familiar with the HOA ham method. I've come up with this solution for all of my portable operations. So I've got a banana jack going into a Desco ring terminal attached to an alligator clip. If you want something more permanent, get yourself this Desco jack and attach it to one of the set screws here on the antenna mount. Next up is the G Gable GRA 750B. It's a really small broadbanded antenna meant for mobile use, but of course, you know me, I take something meant for one use and apply it elsewhere, just like we did on this mount. We're going to do the same thing with that mobile antenna. I've not yet tested it. I don't know how effective it is. It's on the list of things to review in the future, but for now, it certainly works with this mount. So I've demonstrated this at the park, but remember the thought here is stealth in the HOA. And here's the lift and antenna hiding behind a row of hedges at my house. And then the antenna, once it comes up, goes behind the palm tree. Can you even see it? Next up will be the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet Mini with a short whip. Remember the gable lift was designed to work with small and lightweight antennas. You shouldn't really be looking at anything too drastically different from what I've demonstrated. If you need to get something heavier up into the air, then you should really be looking at something like the MFJ 1903. It's a manual lift, but if you can lift it up, it can hold it. So if you need to get a larger antenna up in the air, you could use something like this. 
Tar Heels makes antennas, which are a little bit larger than what the G Gable unit can handle, I believe. So if you want something in between the larger manual MFJ unit and the smaller Gable unit, there's always this Tar Heels lift and lay, but this will set you back about $740. If you can stay towards the smaller end of the antennas, the G Gable option is about $320 at the time of recording this video. For sure, this gear is a niche product, or is it niche? Funny how words change in pronunciation over time. If you have to operate ultra stealth in the HOA and you need to hide behind a hedge, a tree, or operate only from dusk to dawn with a small compromised antenna, this may be just what you need. Now the question, would I buy it? The simple answer is if I had this need in my use case, I absolutely would buy it. And I did early on in my ham way of life. I would go set up an antenna late in the evening and take it down before morning rose. Now I didn't stay up and operate all night, but for a couple of hours I would operate and then I would take that antenna down. That was a nuisance in the middle of August with 100% humidity here in the Tampa Bay area. So I'm glad that today I have a 73 foot NFED hiding in plain sight. If I didn't have that, I most certainly would spend the money to buy this and set it up in an ultra stealth method. So do you have that particular need and use case? Can you afford this? And what's the durability of this product? Let me tell you what I don't know and what I do know about that question. I haven't subjected this to months of abuse in the elements yet, and I only have a couple of hundred cycles through it. For this type of investment, we would expect this to last for many thousands of cycles. I also don't know how this is going to fare up there in the Yukon when you get ice storms and six feet of snow. I'm thinking that perhaps if this is your use case, there are certain times of the year that you're going to have to just remove this from the elements to protect it. I just don't think it would survive in that environment, or it wouldn't work your antenna would be frozen fast and you wouldn't be able to lift it anyway. What I do know is that you'll find units exactly like this and variations of this. There are pneumatic units like this in use in the APAC region of the globe. You'll find this on AliExpress and Alibaba distributed broadly. However, if you want to purchase from them, then you wouldn't have the protection of buying from a known ham radio gear supplier, G Gable Radio, on Amazon in the US. And speaking of G Gable, they have enough confidence in this unit that they placed the trial inventory in their US Amazon store to see if hams in the US have the same vision as Bob, KD4 BMG. This is not just a commercial box truck antenna lift, but it has an HOA use case. I think G Gable's willingness to place such a large investment in inventory here in the US on the selling platform that makes it so easy to return anything for no reason whatsoever speaks volumes to their confidence in this unit. I think at the end of the day, it's going to take those of us with some disposable income and have this use case to buy this unit and put it through its paces. And then we can put reviews on Amazon and YouTube. Regardless of whether G Gable sells this long term, I'll keep this video up because I want to continue to challenge hams. When you see something that has one application, ask yourself, does it have an application in my environment? I have a very restrictive HOA. I like living in the HOA. I'm not moving. How can I take something that was meant for one use case and apply it to mine? That's certainly what we've done here. I hope you found this useful friend. I had a blast doing this video for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon, 73.